the goal of this meeting is just to kind of get everyone on the same page. My favorite word that we will use at the company is what I like to call alignment. Alignment means that we're all on the same page and know exactly what we're trying to accomplish. So for the sake of this alignment, some brief things uh, in terms of what we're doing with the company that we want to update you all on. As many of you have now seen, our biggest uh, sort of advantage that we operate from is a massive Butcoin farm, which we then use to operate on the uh, various uh, markets to purchase things, things that sometimes we can sell, things that sometimes we can, uh, well, just take for ourselves. Uh, board members, myself, Raymond Romanoff, Benji Ramos, and OTT. Uh, we have now separated the business a little bit more into having a middle management, which we are calling project managers. These individuals will be in charge of certain projects. I'll use one of them as an example. Our good friend KJ here. Well, let's just say KJ is in charge of pharmaceuticals. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he'll have various newly hired assets who work underneath him. So the goal of this meeting is to make sure everyone is aligned on the overall structure of the company, uh, where you, what sorts of projects everyone is working on. Um, and then lastly, to cover for this meeting, and this is the, the bad news that I have to deliver to you all. We need you guys to start investing in your own 401ks. Now, the 401k program is similar to the quota. Uh, it will be weekly payments from all members of the company uh, to invest in your retirement fund. Realistically speaking, what it is is uh, money from all of you yeah, every fine. week, basically so that we can expand operations. You might be asking That's yourself, so. why am I working for an organization but having to pay to work for that organization? It's an investment, ladies and gentlemen. You think I'm rolling around in money now? All of my money goes back into this very operation. That investment will give you access to new technology, new equipment, and new opportunities. Yeah, and if you feel like you're not getting your benefits, just speak up to um, to either upper management or one of the board members, and we'll address your concerns. This yeah, is we'll honestly we'll just to head. keep the infrastructure going so we continue to build up. I think the majority of you guys have seen our mon mining operation that's both downstairs and here on this floor. It isn't cheap. And for just four of us to continue to keep doing it, at this at this rate it's very very challenging and since we have so many people together a small injection of 5k ahead is gonna pay dividends to this company in more ways than one now with that being said if you cannot be around in the city you haven't made any money we will of course make exceptions it's not like you know if you don't pay this money you're out but we expect everybody if you're around and you are working 5k a week every seven days is fucking nothing it's a drop in the bucket. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I think to make everything clear as well. So the for the contributions to your five hundred three k, the the main objective is that four hundred one k. Four hundred one k. Sorry. Are we gonna call the it a five hundred three k? Ooh, I like that. The the main reason we have that, uh, ladies and gents, is because we're trying to make sure that we are constantly progressing, and the benefits of whatever we gain, you know, you will have access to that. At yep. some point after the board and upper management clear it up. Um, and um, okay. yeah, that's fine. also we have discussed um, tentatively that uh, we are going to be creating an email chain for the company so that everybody knows who everybody is. Um, we will be able to, you know, keep track of them, some things. Um, don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but just know we have discussed about it internally. And we are working on something uh, just so that communication can be there um, and all that other stuff. Breckers actually already has uh, some of that infrastructure uh, set up. Good work on that, Breckers. I'll need to probably help you with that as well. Uh, yeah. To be clear, one of the biggest reasons we're doing that is different uh, time zones since we operate 24-7 and also varying train tickets. Correct. Exactly, very well guys. said. Yep. It, it, it will be very clear what happens to individuals that are unable to uh, invest in their 503Ks, okay? For example, we go for a picnic. Don't complain if you're eating a sandwich while the others are eating a burger. 
Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be uh, helpful to. Uh... Isn't a burger a sandwich? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It is. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm. Speaking of project managers, nice alley you. Okay. Uh, I can start with that. Sure. Uh, guys, so we have been putting They're a lot of thought quick into quick Okay, this is bullshit. This body yeah, is bullshit. We've been putting a lot of thoughts into project managers that run a little bit more of the. Uh, I guess you could say hours, even if we're not awake or, uh, you know, that you guys can go to and relay things to us <laughs> even when we're not awake, Sidra. It's like a better information at work. And we have each, uh, each board I member is able to choose at least it, one man. person to help out with things. And that uh, we have those people here today. Uh, does anyone else want to take it away? Benji, OTT, Mickey. Oh, uh, you can introduce one. I'll, you know, I want to reach, okay. you know, why not? Perfect. Unfortunately, Perez is not here right now, but Perez has shown a lot of interest and a lot of obviously care for the company. He wants us to grow a lot, and he has been elected forward as one of the project managers for the company. Unfortunately, like I said, he's not here, but he's going to help run your day-to-day -day operations. He's going to be your person that you could go to. He can help run, obviously, finances and such in the, in the stead of the board members. All right. Uh, Does everyone, second... You guys all know Benji, right? Or sorry, uh, you all know uh, Perez, right? Yeah. Correct, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, Ray Ray's right hand man, I think, uh, or one of them uh, uh, back in the day. Like left hand man, but yeah. Left hand. Okay. He also lives across the street with us. Yes, he lives in the home. Doesn't know. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't Very matter good. for Perfect. us. We we, um, we just give I'll the five K my, comes uh, from the fifteen percent. He was my actual right hand man uh, in the old BSK days. Uh, Sly is uh, good at many many things. He will also be helping out um, in a manager position. Um, and uh, yeah, that is Sly. If anybody needs him, get his phone number, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, you'll see, you'll be seeing lots of him. Hi. Right. And uh, I think you guys, I think some of you might have been able to uh, meet KJ, but obviously he's been dealing with uh, pharmaceuticals in Sandy, so his presence might not be very uh, prominent here in the south side of where we're yeah, out in the yeah. field in the city. But KJ will also be one of our project managers, and he is currently heading our efforts up in Sandy Shores when it comes to uh, pharmaceuticals. I think uh, one more thing I think we, we forgot to mention earlier, but uh, it's probably going to be, you know, talked about even further. There's going to be one more, I think, provisionary project manager, but in, and that's in terms of materials acquisition and whatnot. It's going to be Dragon. But... um. The, the whole point of having having these project managers guys is that I want you to understand something they, they they're all very respected in the city and we're kind of in that moment where we need them to sort of introduce the new assets that we have so when we have interns in the future when we have more assets they're not going to just be bullied or put into the ground and people like KJ Sly and Perez will be there to make sure that, you know, you guys are respected and you can continue to do business. Yeah. Correct. And if there's, yes. Sounds good. And if there's any assets here that uh, particularly like a certain part <laughs> of business, whether that is the legit side, the, the pharmaceutical side, the more on the um, securities division, just speak up and we'll make sure that you get partnered up with the right manager to make sure that we can find a position that you feel comfortable with and that you can do the things that you're interested in personally. It's up to you to let us know where you want to be and what area that you want to focus on. Yeah, I used to okay, be. I feel like I should introduce myself properly. So my name is Malcolm Jenkins. Nobody knows me as that. And there's a reason for that. I don't really go by that name as much. I'm just saying, Mr. Jenkins, could you uh, speak up, actually? Better? Much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, Malcolm Jenkins, I don't go by that. Better known as Sly. I used okay, to be part yeah. of BSK back in the day on the OTT. Um, I live on Fudge with a lot of ex-BSK members. We all hold it yeah. down together. We all do shit yeah. together. So I want to make it clear that I am 100% invested in this. I am dedicated to this, but I also have people behind me that I'm looking out for as well. And obviously me being here with you guys, I want them to feel as though I'm still there with them and everything. 
and I also want them to be included in a lot of things. So I will be that uh, English sometimes um, delegating tasks to them. If I have certain tasks, I'll be having them handle certain things for me. Basically, we've been helping the company for some bit already. Mm -hmm. So I think this will just solidify the relationship a bit more with these guys. They're loyal to the core, to me, to nothing, yeah. And I really do hope you guys meet them soon. Well said. Fuck, you know, it's the first day of class. Like, get the f <laughs> that's my boy. That was cute. That was cute, man. <laughs> you know, I actually, no, I, I like love I that. Know you very and, well. and I realize some people, because of, you know, when people are around time zones, etc., not everyone here does know each other. So, barring the board members, who hopefully we don't have to introduce, can we go around and uh, everyone introduce themselves uh clockwise yeah, what, from sly i what, guess why don't we start yeah let's start with uh dragon oh he jumped over me Wait, we'll go oh. kj that well kj then well kj i guess did introduce himself so following uh kj unless KJ, you want to say more and then me, dragon. kj should be kj should be last mickey oh, kj you can you last? move so i can see you i don't know if you know if you can hear me <laughs> okay dragon you're up i heard someone throw something outside What's up, boys and girls? Uh, my name is Dragon Rush. Uh, as most of you guys may know me, I am kind of the mature guy, you know, around these days, picking up trash for a living every yeah, single day. Not but um, I used to be a uh, a member of Seaside back in the day, uh, underneath uh, both you know KJ and Benji, and I used to be part of uh, I guess good old Rust side, hanging out with Mr. Romanov all the time back in the day. Um, yeah, right. That was actually a thing, Russ side. Yeah. Uh, Fucking yeah, hand-holding motherfuckers. We hit in the line. It's a pretty strong one. Yeah, what the of hell, man? Sorry. <laughs> Dominated. Oh, DT, stop. It's okay. <laughs> no one loved your group enough to be with you, ODT. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ray. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ray, 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 Ray. All right, all right. Just, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? I'm a step off a boy. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just teasing. We're free. But other than that, um... As both uh, what Benji, KJ, and Ray may have known, and hopefully you know, you know, the more you guys get to know me, the more you guys notice that <laughs> I'm probably the most loyal motherfucker there is. If if one, one of you guys need help, what do you mean cap? What the fuck? I, I, I fought all. <laughs> but if you guys ever need help, I don't care what it is. If it turns for for hacking, for security, for business, whatever, let me know. I'm always um, down to be there. Well said, Dragon. Welcome aboard, Dragon. Dragon. You a team player, Dragon. We love you. Thank you, baby. Freya. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No, Freya, you're Freya. You're up. That's what. Oh, <laughs> Freya. sorry. Freya, that's you. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. Well, um. I am an aspiring hacker, so that's kind of like what I've been uh, dabbling in right now. I've been working hard at trying to learn all the hacks. I've been practicing daily on both roof running and uh, especially lock picking for bots and cars and anything you need. So if you need anyone to, you know, get you a car, just let me know. Uh, I will also be working on hacking on computers in the future. Right now, I just need to get a new manicure, but <laughs> we'll get that fixed in just a day or two. Yeah, I think your nails look great. One day. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Archie. Next. Hey, I'm Archie Archer. I'm uh, running for the Civilian Oversight Council for the city. Hopefully bring some political power to the company. I work on the business side with Mr. Mickey and Wreckers. And I uh, was part of the Valentine's... Uh, Fresh sales, and we did pretty good with that. And uh, I'm here if you ever need me. I'm always in the yellow pages, and I'll work a job that won't get me in too much trouble because of the council position, but I'll always be there for you. Thank you, Archie. Absolutely. Oh, I'm Cal Matt, uh, XBSK for two years, blooded in, AK Ward. I used to be a war general, BSK. Uh, what am I now? Oh, I'm now I'm the dead ass guy. Real intro. Can you actually, uh, state your full title, please? Yeah, uh, director of uh, emergency asset defense or strategic security, aka dead ass. And I love it. Uh, 
honestly, I've just been working my dick off of G6 until I catch a felony. Then I'm going to move on to whatever. It's probably sanitation with Dragon and OTT. Breckers, are you finally ready to make an introduction, Breckers? Beverly Breckers! That's me! Hey, there he is. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. I've never seen him move that fast before. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, sorry. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. You know who I am, probably. Or oh, if you don't, just call me. I'm sure you will at some point. Cool. Damn. Oh, okay. That's it. Breckers That's was it. the uh, blueprint. Breckers was the blueprint, by the way, for the intern intro. program. What? Well, it was better than anything 014 would have come up with. No. 014. The fuck oh, is oh, uh, uh, Intern 014 is a artificial intern in AI. It's a robot that we uh, developed in partnership with the Naseko Labs. It's currently under maintenance right now, but um, if any of you guys need something, like just, I don't know, like literally just a fucking useless body to run jobs with, uh, give me a call and I can uh, boot up uh, 014 to run work with you. It's literally a robot. Damn. It's, it's just... It looks like a person. It actually looks kind of like Breckers. It was modeled after him, and uh, yeah, it's an artificial intern that will. Uh... Oh, it can't Uglier. kill people. Version well, Uglier. okay, technically, it can't kill people, and you can't command it to kill people. But I'm waiting for people to try to find the workarounds to the positronic brain because there are some special oh, ways to get it to. Oh, it is hackable. Um, yeah. No one's actually tried yet. Well, maybe uh, but it is hackable. Like on that, she is. I think it's Swanstein. Swan, you're up. Mickey, Mickey reminded me that I need to text her. So I, I know I miss her, dog. <sighs> I'm Swan. Uh, worked with a part of the intern Swan? program. Swan, can you speak up? Oh, yeah. Uh, worked with a couple of the interns during the uh, program. Done security with the former mayor, Mr. Sinclair, and now with the present mayor, Maximilian Thoroughbreds. You may have uh, heard of my Smash Club, where people just uh, participate to Smash. She's so watch cool. Watch the Smash. Stuff like that. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, legal. But who knows uh, how it'll go um, in the future. Love that character. I mean, it can still continue it, even if it's not legal. That character is so great. I uh, help people get connected. If there's something you're looking for, want to find out, I can help you if you help me. Like the company does. So I kind of do my own thing, but if you need me, I might be there. I'm all around, you know. I can stick my thumb small pies. I'm not at the point where I'm willing to put anyone down for anyone here yet. Real. Yeah, I was just saying, it's I don't real. think, uh, to be fair, this is as an organization and operation. We shouldn't be, ex I'm not going to, you know, uh, let's say someone comes up and, and insults me. I don't expect Beverly Breckers to pull out the fucking gat and clap back, brat, brat, you know, and, and, and fucking, I don't know. I, I don't want to see Breckers blacked out driving around the fucking South Side is what I'm saying. So, is that, let's, someone's at the door. Female, red hair, is it? It'd be kind of cool to see Breckers. Could be Ari, Ari. Yeah. drop. Sorry, oh, yeah. it's Ari, sorry. Drum roll, sorry. please. <laughs> I'm clueless, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> going on here, guys? Ray, don't stab her, Ray. You. Oh, what, you're gonna rap? Stab me! You think it's okay to be late? Um, sorry, you know, I just woke up and I've been working really hard in this Man, she's an hour late, I just realized. All right, we got two more introductions that need to be done. It's Ari and then KJ. Ari, go. Hi, I'm Ari. Um, I've been hanging out in the sewers. The end. Huh. Thank you very much, Ari. She doesn't That's do much. Quick. Guys. Yeah, she's now a sewer rat. He oh, has wow. immunity down there. She's built up the tolerance. He loves me. Why? Why is he bringing me up to last? What is? What, what is up with Benji right now? That's how we are. We're besties, man. Who are you talking about? The sewer king? Yeah! The ruler, not not rat king, the sewer, the ultimate, the end goal sewer boss. So she can huh. buy you moonshine distilleries if you ever need some. Yep. Hey, nice to okay. know. KJ, please. All right. 
Hello everyone, I'm KJ, King of Sandy. I live in Sandy, I breed Sandy, I hold down the fucking turf in Sandy for the company. Basically what I do, I push weed. A lot of weed. My history, basically two and a half years with the Vagos, two years and the founder of Seaside. Now I'm here. What you were talking about, you know, those Twitter shit, I hate it. Then again, if somebody comes up to me with an attitude, I give an attitude back. Easy as that. Doesn't need to be south side for that, you know? But yeah, that's me. That Thanks, KJ. No offense, but why is it Damn. the same guy who keeps instigating the thing? Because it started with Ginger, and now it started with... I'm, I'm presuming this is what happened this morning with OTT, because I was reading it oh. while I was down in the sewers. What are we talking about right now? Have, like, I, I'm missing context. Oh. I have no context. What is that? Marty, Marty shot at who? Marty, Marry. That's Whoa, just Ari, yeah. Ari, Ari. Whoa, we're not naming what happened. We were keeping happened, these Ari. names Ari. Oh, silent. I, oh, oh, I, I don't know who he is. We were talking for ages, yeah. I, I, I'm, Okay, I, I didn't, I didn't know. All right, this will be on your performance review at the end of the month. Uh, thank you. Um, anyways, um, okay, we are going to be uh putting on this program. It's going to be me and Breckers. It is called My Criminal Academia. Although the official title will have to be My Career Academia because uh, it's going to be very public. Uh, I am strongly encouraging all assets yeah. to sign up. Possibly, listen, I'm saying project managers, if you guys want to brush up on some skills, maybe you guys might even want to sign up. Uh, this is going to be a special course in the city. Um, multiple courses, actually. A university, an academy on basically how to be the best version of yourself. Uh, we are going to be paying the most proficient members to be professors at the academy. Uh, I'll be paying them a rate for basically two hour lessons. They're going to deliver me a syllabus of the things they are going to teach. And then they will be teaching to people in the city their skills. This is a company sponsored event, but not officially uh, the company, just because we are opening it to everyone in the city. They can pay for tuition, either pay per class or pay for the full tuition of all the classes. Now, these classes include things such as Street Smarts, taught by Professor K. Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss, taught by April Foos. Um, Driving 101 with Erwin Dundee. And more. I'm building out the full uh, semester of classes. Uh, for all company members, uh, specifically the assets and project managers, you will all get a discounted rate to sign up. I encourage you to sign up. Um, I'm probably just going to have all of you guys get like 50% off. Oh, and we're even doing a special program. I really love this touch. It's my scholarships for um, students from low priority families uh, where they also get 50% off. Tell me that's not Are a fucking banger. Fucking serious? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm trying to operate it like an actual university with good scholarship program, Benji. Right, anyway, I think that's great. Yeah. Um, this academy is actually going to be pretty expensive. Um, I, for all of our assets, I think it's actually highly worth it to do it. Um, I think even for the people who sign, I'm going to probably limit the spots. Um, for you guys, it's going to be cheaper. For the rest of the city, the full course, like full semester, might be 30,000, could even be as much as 40,000. Depends how many classes we actually put in it. Um, but yeah, it's basically anywhere from like six to eight two hour classes over the course of two weeks, basically taught by the best people in the city. We're going to be, yeah, teaching people shit. So. The Fike investment shows more value if everyone knows what the problem is fixing. That she sounds yeah. pretty good. I feel like it yeah. should be like if the uh, company for, and, and like money, I said, for all of you guys, um, us, any company member, need, it will be you know, half off as long as we're part of it. it. That's how I look at it. I'm definitely gonna talk to Dundee about driving. I feel like because we were giving um, back in the days, we were giving tax. And then it, yeah, then you guys have any input on it or stuff and like it that. Never worked uh, because everything went to speedy know. and it went to. I would definitely nothing. like to teach people certain things, like chopping and the whole process of turning it in sewers and all that. Oh, you'd like to be a professor. A simple course. Why not? I'll okay, is there anything else, that. Mickey? Um, 
No, any other major updates from the other uh, board members for sort of the like, and I, I'd say this is sort of the strategic vision from the business department for the next probably two weeks. Our other project that we're working on that might be less interesting to y'all here is we're going to be doing business proposals Let's for people. Big, we're going to write them up for a percentage of their business. And well, we're just for a flat there. He's so a giga, giga all the people chat. dealing with all the bullshit of business proposals. We're going to cover that stuff for them. We're going to have Winter and Breckers do their branding and marketing assets for them. That's the update from the business team. I'll let the other board members update on their major uh, goals. Fucking hell, that took a while. OTT, anything? Uh, no, no, I think I, I'm no, I'm just I just want to tell everybody um, we're, we're all grateful that you guys have uh, decided to join the company. Um, this is just the beginning. Feel free to voice your opinions at any time. Bring them to um, management or board members. Everybody's opinion is valued here and everybody's effort is valued. So please speak up if you have any issues, concerns, um, any information that the company you think could help the company speak up about it. Outside of that, I'm just grateful to have all you guys here and, and trusting us. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Brilliant. Raymundo. I mean, I already spoke uh, my piece about it, but uh, I will say again, thank you guys for all uh, being a part of the company. That's all I can say, right? At the end of the day, every single person standing in this room, I see lasting into the future of the company. I already told you guys, there's going to be future waves of uh, interns, and I, I'm going to rely on every single one of you guys to help uh, guide those people in the right direction. I mean, you guys have already made it through some difficult uh, processes with the company. As you saw, we had like, what, 40, 50 people when we nearly began, but look at this now. Everyone in this room, barring like two, three people, are uh, all that's left that uh, truly, truly are full company members. I mean, yes, we have other people too, but you understand what I mean. So I'm looking forward to see what we can all do together. Yep. And uh, lastly, everybody that's here has an opportunity to work their way up within the company. You put your efforts in, it's seen over time. People may get promoted, some people may get demoted. Who knows? It is a company. This is not a fucking gang. It is a company. We are we are above this South Side gang bullshit. Yes, we live in the South Side right now. It is what it is, but we do not operate as a South Side gang. I'm 100% getting demoted clear. at some point, so yeah. yeah. But we will fuck I, shit up when we have to. I, I'm telling you right now, guys, I think what OTT is saying is very important for everybody to remember. We don't plan on being a small company. We're planning to be a very big and powerful one. And we're not just going to be going out there clapping for every single conflict that we have, right? I just don't think that that's ever going to fucking work. It's bad Even for if business. We had, exactly. Even if we had a security team, we can't just be rolling out. Get get your six and, oh my God, somebody talked uh, talked mean to me or some dumb shit. You know, it's just not going to work. I think uh, the biggest thing, like what Ray just said, people left us and there's a lot of people that stayed. I really, I truly believe that everybody that's in this room, even though we have some faces that are familiar to us, people from ex-gangs and whatnot, it's very obvious and clear that we are all looking forward to a new system or living a different kind of life that's not purely based on being a gangster or, you know, what we used to do. That's right. And the, the, fun, the, the fucking funny thing is, you know, at least for the guy that left, all I noticed is he's going back to the same exact people yep. that he fucking abandoned last time anyway. Yep. So, I mean, shit, guys, you know, we got to be doing something, right? Because in no way OTT getting shot if he wasn't doing something right. Uh, Real. Other than that, boys, you know, I, I think everybody just keep it, keep it chill. Just remember at the end of the day that your energy is what everybody else would, will absorb. If you get hurt, if you, if you suddenly feel like down, you feel like you don't want to keep going, the person next to you is going to feel the exact same way. But if you stay strong, you want to keep on going. Everybody's going to mirror that and we're only going to get stronger, okay? So, just remember that as we move forward. This is only the beginning. There's so much more to go.